Piracy is a fantastic way of making money. However, in Star Sector, I always find that pirates are more of just an annoyance than anything else. But what if they had a skilled captain flying the Jolly Roger? A man that specializes in low-tech terror fleets and reckless torpedo bombing. So today, I will be using the Nexarune mod to allow me to start as a pirate. And I decide to give myself a single rule. I will only be allowed to buy low-tech ships. However, Anything that I salvage from battles, I'll be allowed to keep for myself. Because I'm going to need the biggest fleet possible if I'm going to pull off the ultimate pirate raid and steal a pristine nano forge. Let me introduce you to our brave captain who will be taking on this stupid idea. Meet Dave. A reckless pirate with a few low tier ships under his belt. Our first task then will be to head out and uh, get caught by the Persian League. Well, this is not exactly how I thought the game was going to go. <laughs> Gather on me, boys. This might be the end already. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. The ship's caught out of position. All right, excellent work. Fair, for the looks of it, that ship's actually a carrier and also trying to launch missiles at me. Tell you what, have some of these. There we are. Easy clap. Easy clap. 113% di battle difficulty. I don't think so. That was easy. With my first victory under my belt, I salvaged some crappy midline ship and then headed back to cash in my first piece of booty. Uh, and make a grand total of 918. Actually, take that back. 1,009 when we set it on the black market. <laughs> I also then made some improvements to my enforcer by making heavy armor and S mod, which freed up some points to put into my vents. With that, I then ventured back out into space to find my next target. Ooh, that's got potential. Supplies and heavy machinery. The only scary thing is they have this armored cruiser, but we'll be all right, I think. Everyone on me. We go together as one little pack and pray. Here we are, here we are. We're isolating this one ship. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, they got a chance against me. My torpedo skills are still amazing. Fantastic. Let's just finish off this atlas now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, turn around. Run away. All my engines keep breaking. Goddamn serious malfunction risk. Right, get out of it. Let's get out of it. Yeah, let's disengage using a series of special maneuvers, which will use one of my story points, but... I'll still be alive. Oh, Ludic Paul for buying the guns for 1,062. I think we're going to have to go and pay them a visit. Uh, let's just dump all of this stuff first. While I was heading to the Ludic Path to offload some heavy weapons, a smuggler decided to generously donate their cargo to me in the form of death. I then arrived at my destination, sold some heavy weapons, and then headed off to sell the harvested organs that we had acquired. 251 organs there for 728 each. That's 154,000. You know, this pirate, this pirating thing is starting to pay off quite well because now it's out of 342,000. With our profits, I decided to purchase some new ships and our fleet looked a little something like this. With our brand new fleet, I decided to see if any quests were available at the dockside bar. I was offered a job which involved just dropping off some sewing kits. All right, let's dump down these uh, sewing kits. There we are, 70 grand. Might as well have a little nose around this system, see if there's anything around here that we could uh, salvage. Ah, there's extensive ruins on this planet. We might as well have a little a little nose to see what they've got. Or planets, which is nice. Uh, ooh. <laughs> oh, Staff Federation Core Blueprints, Ludic Path Blueprints, and a Corrupted Nano Forge. Hmm. To celebrate that epic find, I bought myself a new Enforcer and gave it a very unique design. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet my new ship design. I call this one the Enfumper. <laughs> I think this is going to be good. I've given it safety overrides, expanded magazines, heavy armor, and expanded missile racks for uh, reasons. What's perfect is we actually have a Persian League patrol here attacking a couple of pirate raiders, so we can just join in on this battle. Our fleet of enforcers has arrived. This wayfarer is done, mate. <laughs> It's incredible. You just see that ship melt. All right, we've proved that the Enfumpo is a great ship at killing people that are running away. Let's go and test it against some ships that can't fight back. Ooh, that's an easy convoy to kill. Hello, Mr. Persian League. Looks like you got some free real estate for me here. All right, a mule wants to come up against me. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, Flux is a slight problem with this ship. Get some hammerheads in it, break his armor. 
And then the um, and then the thumpers just hit it hard. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. There's a load of hammerheads. In comes the thumpers. <laughs> you just see how quickly his health drops. As soon as you get through the armor, right? The thumpers do so much damage. I'll be honest with you guys. The Enfumper kind of slapped. It was great at just melting traders and allowing me to continue my trend of repossessing cargo for my own profit. Although I did kind of get bored of killing poor smugglers and decided to head to the Sindrian to see if I could salvage some ships since that system was a goddamn war zone. I did end up grabbing this drover, which I made into a quote, disabler by uh, slapping on a load of Sabot missiles and some uh, kinetic bombers. I kind of made this ship with the intention of being able to disable capital ships so I could swarm them with my low tech garbage. We're going for it. That conquest will be mine. Everyone get it. Let's go, 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 go. Every Savot missile we've got. Disable everything it has. Right, beam ships, hit, the, hit it. Keep hitting it. Give me the enforcer now. I think I've done the job. Every single one of its guns are fucked. I've got the EMP ship behind it. Let's use the Reapers to overload its shields. Oh, or blow it up. That also works. Have I just stolen? What? It's not even recoverable. Oh, come on, man. I only hit it with a few Reapers. Okay, I may have messed up there, but I did end up grabbing one. But to be honest, it was all for nothing. Even though I made this ship as impractical and memey as possible by slapping on two Richardson guns. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> look at all the shit that's going at it. Uh, as you can tell, our flux isn't exactly great, but don't worry about that bit. I just wasn't feeling the conquest. But of all the factions currently at war with each other, I did come up with a brilliant idea. To invade Salamansa, the toxic planet that shared the system with our pirate base. All right, here we are. Here are my grand invasion fleets. There's three of them. Look at these bad boys. Fucking hell. With this armada, we should be able to beat any special task force they send. Here we go. Here looks like we're going to have a big battle here. Get in there, my pirate brethren. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this for a battle. Look at all that trash versus uh, an elite force. Obviously, my usual plan is I'll be going around the sides. There we are. That's the drone tender dead. Got a little factory ship here. We should be able to take out nice and easy. All right. Well, that's all their escorts killed. That just leaves the uh, the big boy here. That is a conquest being swarmed by ants. All right, well, there we go. What an epic battle that was. Surprisingly, we didn't lose as much as I thought we would. Here we are. The invasion has begun. I don't think it's really going to need anything on my behalf. There we are. We've captured it. Salamancer is ours. Well, that's good because now this system is entirely owned by pirates, which is pretty tasty. We also have this toxic planet here that only has a hazard rating of 100% because it has an underground network. So I'm actually going to send a colony ship out to colonize that and then we'll take that over for ourselves. With the colonization of our new planet, Dave's crew was established. However, now I had to play the fun game of sitting around and developing my planet. I started off by building some heavy industry so I could put my corrupted nanoforge to work. All right, the heavy industry is completed. We're <laughs> making a grand total of 916 there. Once we install the corrupted nanoforge, we go up to a almighty 1,186. <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, with the upcoming invasions, I think it's time we bust out an old toy, shall we? Let's see if they think they're going to take Salamansa. Oh, yeah, I've also got a couple of defense fleets here as well to help defend my planet. All right, the Star Federation has arrived. Uh, let's see if... Uh, th this is like flashbacks, isn't it? Me defending a planet from the Star Federation? Oh, well, here they are. Doesn't look very uh, grand, does it? Oh, dear. There's nothing more deadly than getting four Reapers up the arse, is there? <laughs> oh, what? Why? Kill it? I mean, it's still going to die, but fucking hell. All right, well, that's the Star Federation kicked out. We just got the Sindarin now, I think. All right, the Sindarin have arrived now. I think it's their turn to die against the Pirate Onslaught. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty broken fleet. I don't think they're going to do very well against all the pirates. Okay, yeah, they're already, they've already lost. <laughs> nice. Unfortunately for me, these two invasions were not the last. I think I ended up spending a good couple of hours defending my planet. 
But this was actually a good thing because it allowed me to build up a pretty tasty fleet for our grand heist for the pristine nano forge, which I had decided I was going to steal from the hegemony. However, if I was going to take on the hegemony, I was going to need some serious firepower. Thankfully, the Star Federation delivered this ship to me, which I quickly kitted out and named the Siege Boy. Now, the ship actually banged because I kitted it out by placing a ton of EMP weapons on it, backed up by some Reapers. The idea was that we would disable the entire ship and then launch six Reapers in their face. All right, well, we got a Sindrian fleet that's just decided to attack me. Let's put this ship to the test. Here we go. Here's one of their conquests. This is what I'm after. This is what this ship's designed to kill, I, I think. There's some torpedoes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a flawless design. Oh, yeah. There's nothing it can do about it. Oh, fuck's sake. The torpedo is bouncing. All right. Now I'm actually properly in range. There you go. With our new siege boy, it was time to put together our epic raiding party. I began by building some additional patrol HQs to increase our fleet budget and slowly buying up marines until I had recruited around 2,000 men and women for this epic raid. With a fleet budget now around 1,400, we put together a quote invasion fleet and what came out was uh, <laughs> uh, something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. My grand invasion fleet. Uh, not looking so grand. <laughs> what the hell is this fleet? With everything ready, it was finally time to pull off our epic heist. So we set off to the Hegemi's capital. And just as we arrived, we engaged the first battle station. All right, I have 150 Reaper torpedoes. This station should fall in seconds. Also, what the fuck is that? A world eater variant? Was that a mining ship? I mean, I'm just more confused why you would bring a goddamn mining ship to a fucking raid. Let me just get in and start torpedoing the station and we'll have a great time. All right. First part of the station is dead. Oh, this is the bit which is going to get a little bit difficult. All right, well, we've overloaded it. So as long as we reload quick enough, we might actually be able to kill this thing. Give me some more torpedoes, damn it. All right, there we go. That's the big chunk dead. Yeah, as you saw there, um, the siege boy bent that station over and fucked it sideways. Even the special task groups were nothing for the mighty combo of the siege boy and the planet eater. Finally, we reached their capital and dispensed a hot load of justice in the form of Reaper torpedoes all over that station. And with the station destroyed, there was nothing stopping me now. Orbed for bombardment. It's going to cost me 2,000 fuel, but that's okay. Military operations have been disrupted. Consider military. Launch a raid. Steal valuables. The pristine nano forge. We lost 193 marines. But there she is. The pristine nano forge. It's ours. It's going to be in the hands of the pirates now. Excellent work, boys. Mission complete. With the nano forge in our hands, we headed home and slapped it onto our orbital works. And that, my friends, is where our journey ends. Well, kind of. I plan on streaming the second part of this video right here on YouTube. Uh, probably, probably in about an hour after this video is released. So stick around for that. In the meantime, though, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'd also like to say a big thank you to all these Patreons here for throwing their cash at me. And if you want to see why terror is a fantastic weapon, check out this video.